many of you have at home tonight. Will my kids' school be back open next week? Some districts are reopening while others are staying closed. And tonight, ABC 15's Mike Pelton is picking up our team coverage. And so many districts, so many decisions, of course, very confusing. What did you learn tonight and what do parents need to know? Yeah, well, Stephanie, uh, there's a lot of confusion, especially in places like here in Chandler. It's a district that reversed course, now saying they won't open on Monday after all. And as the walkout continues, it's parents who were caught in the middle. We are moving to another state, and we planned our entire move um, on the last day of school. Chris Flecken has three kids in the Chandler school system and is trying to move her family to California. Her house sold, boxes packed. She says they won't be around if the school year gets extended. Yeah, I'm not, not on either side. I'm not angry. I'm just frustrated about the uncertainty. We had a plan. <laughs> Across the state, parents left to wonder when kids go back to class. Arizona Superintendent of Public Instruction, Diane Douglas, tells me it's up to each district. The group that's conducting this walkout really isn't an official union that they can say to everybody, boom, now you come back. My heart, I feel so bad for the parents and what they're going through and the children right now that every day can be, oh, we're back, we're not back, we're back, we're not back. So to hear, we might not move, on the 31st is devastating for the kids, for sure. Chris says she's not changing her plans and hopes her kids can finish the school year on time. I'm sure that I am not the only family that's struggling right now. Vacations are planned, other people are moving. You know, this is, this is a big deal. So there's a lot of uncertainty.